The ongoing conflict in the Gaza Strip uh, makes the situation more and uh, more serious. The death toll is raising sharply and hospitals are very busy uh, treating all the injured. Our correspondent from Gaza, Noor Harassan, gives us some more details about the current situation there. The situation is just going from bad to worse here in the Gaza Strip with the series and the ongoing Israeli uh, airstrikes on the uh, coastal enclave. Uh, the latest where the Israeli warplanes targeted an 11-floor uh, building. It is called Al Husari building. It is located in Arimal Street, which is a very densely populated uh, area. We call it the downtown Gaza because it is full of markets and shops. Uh, this 11-story uh, building was brought to the ground, also causing damages to the shops and buildings surrounding this uh, place. According to the Palestinian Health Ministry, the number of Palestinians killed in Gaza is over uh, 400 with uh, dozens of children. However, they refuse to give us a certain number, and this is because the uh, rapid update and casualties arriving to the uh, hospitals. The situation in Gaza, the humanitarian situation is deteriorating. Uh, the electricity uh, here in Gaza cuts for almost 8 to 12 hours uh, a day. Uh, the infrastructure of the Gaza Strip is uh, partly uh, damaged. Uh, people here suffer from the cutting of the internet and the very bad signals, the very bad connections, uh, rarely any electricity, any water. Also, the situation in the Palestinian hospitals is really bad. Today, there was an, um, a conference by the Palestinian Health Ministry. They said that the fuel in the hospitals will only last for a few days. After that, the hospital will shut down and will not be able to treat the people who are injured. For now, the Palestinian people are waiting to see what will be upcoming to them in the next few hours and days. Nur Harazin, Tilisur, Gaza.